Burr, baby, it's getting cold out there. And with the cold weather season quickly approaching, especially here in the Midwest, I thought this would be a great time to talk about some outerwear that I have currently available to me. There's a lot of different styles out there and a lot of different looks. One of which is easily recognized is this trench coat. Almost everyone is familiar with the classic trench coat. It is certainly classic core or norm core as it is flattering for both men and women. This London Fog happens to be a women's trench coat, but I have no doubt you will be seeing trench coats out and about this winter season. So if this is a look you like, I recommend London Fog. They actually are a very great brand. What you might see maybe through October, November-ish before it gets too terribly cold is vests. Vests come in a whole different variety. This one is a fa fur, but you have puffer vests, you have denim vests, you have fleece vests, all different kinds of vests. This is kind of nice because you can wear it obviously like a long sleeve shirt underneath it where you want to be a little warm but not necessarily requiring it for complete warmth. Vests are a good choice for that. You'll see a lot of people wearing vests during you know the early even into late fall. Vests are a great outerwear choice. The next thing I want to show you is just a basic coat. This coat I would categorize as a Gorp Corp coat. It is hooded with fa fur, but it's just pretty standard and traditional. A coat that you could wear out to the grocery store just as easily as you could throwing on a pair of hiking boots and walking a trail for some last minute seasonal exercise. This is a nice example of a traditional standard coat. Again, I'd probably group it as Gorp core, granola core, one of those types of styles. But anyway, it's cozy and it feels like it's quilted. This would be a great choice as well. Then you have a prepper coat, which would be the pea coat. The pea coat, this one happens to be wool, so it will definitely keep you warm from fall through winter. This one also has a hood to it. What identifies a pea coat is generally this double breasted button system we have going on here. This is a super classy, dressier coat in my opinion. Certainly caters to more of a preppier type of look or an occasion that requires just maybe a little bit of upgrade to the wardrobe than say a vest, for example. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is the traditional winter coat. Heavy, heavy, heavy winter coat, such as this Abercrombie and Fitch. Again, with a full hood, this is fa fleece lined, certainly a warm coat, full zip. It will definitely hold up to some extreme temperatures. I truly believe this is a great winter coat. This happens to be for men, but you can find equally nice heavy winter coats for women as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the different types of coat styles. Certainly, you know, there's a whole other wide array of coats from overcoats to leather coats to things like that. But I just kind of wanted to do a quick little overview with you. I hope you found it beneficial. Thanks, guys.